Doesn't get any better than that. Perfect timing. Hit the post, as they call it. Mm -hmm. I learned from Howard Stern. My mentor, Howard Stern, lost my other mentor, Pee Wee Herman, the other day. Although you're not hearing this until a week later, so... I guess it's pointless to do a tribute. It's already been done. Pee Wee your, was your mentor? He was my mentor. I, wouldn't I mean, he was that. like the first... He was like a, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I guess a big influence on me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the first, like, I would watch, I, I saw his HBO special when I was real young. He used to go on David Letterman all the time before his movie. I, I mean, we were excited. You would stay up late and watch David Letterman? I guess so, yeah. Um, Crazy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only way you would see it. There was no, like, nobody was, like, recording it for me. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we were excited to go, like his movie came out like right around my birthday, the Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And mm -hmm. we went to the movie theater, me and my brother, like by ourselves, two little kids took the bus to the movies. How old were you? I think it was like my 12th birthday, 11th birthday, something like that. Yeah, it was 85. It was my 12th birthday. Wow. Um. You and your brother rode the bus to, in, where? To the movie theater. It. Where was the movie theater? Far? Yeah, it was two hours away. I'm saying, like, was it enough? We lived in the sticks. <laughs> it was a Greyhound bus. It was a Greyhound bus. We had to sleep at the bus station. I got molested by a well, So I was going to say, it sounds safe to do that. Yeah, a bum held me down, f***ed my ass. Good. Oh, uh, sh**. Should've Can you bleep you that, something. Matt? Should have taught you. Humility? Yeah, something. What, what should it have taught me? How to make you humble. Yeah. Yeah, it would teach me to not, like, expect anything from people in my life, I guess. And Isn't then, that what Iron Sheik would always say? Yeah. yeah. That is but, like a uh, thing in the Middle <clears throat> East or something. Like uh, doing it's that. It's more about, it's more uh, in the dog community. <laughs> is it? Yeah. And Dominance. like in prison, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Thank you That's for calling Glendale Galleria. If this is an emergency, only certain please types hang of up and dial 9. Have sex with dogs? Welcome to our voicemail system. You have dominated the tone. dog. Please record. So if you have sex with the dog in their ass, then you're dominating the dog. It's not even sexual then. Yeah, potentially. All right, st this is. I want to be able to get advertising on YouTube. You said that you were. You just. I said to bleep it. I told Matt to bleep Galleria. it. If this is an Pee, Pee Wee's death also uh, wrecked me. So. Were you sad? Very. Everybody. I was fully in tears. Aww. I guess it's kind of sad. Like there's not going to be any more. Peewee, not that he did anything Whoa, recently. Right. But that's what I said. I got to meet him, hang out with him, watch a movie with him. That's true, Aaron. That's great. That's so cool. I don't like this new lighting. I wish it was blurrier. Just it shows your face. <laughs> I wish it had a filter on it or something. We're off to a great start. You could put a filter over the camera. Like, make you, like, you know when Jane Fonda's in a movie and it's like all super blurry? Judge Judy does it. Oh, that's right. That's who I was thinking. Judge Judy. I need one. Wait, of you were conf you confused Judge Judy with Jane Fonda. Well, I was thinking about mm. Jane Fonda in a movie, but I, mm. but what I meant to say was Judge Judy has it much worse. They actually, I mean, they don't look that dissimilar. The hair is kind of the same. Every, yeah, every every they're probably the, the same. same age. Yeah. All the estrogen drains from your body, and then you look like. Hey, isn't it funny how women start? Women look like men, and men look like women when they get old. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, are you guys doing haircuts? Yes, can I ask you to hold for one second? Oh, okay, I guess. Thank you for calling Hair Studio. A salon coordinator will assist you momentarily. Oh salon coordinator? We look forward to serving never heard you that and appreciate your patience and your support. I kind of like this What music. are we going to ask them? I don't know, you called. Hair. I don't know what to... Hair. <clears throat> I want to get my gerbil's hair done. The insurance, car insurance place had a cool hold music too, but it probably would be hard to crank them. Now this music's probably copyrighted. This? I'm not going to hold for them. All right. I mean, I kind of like the music. 
Whatever. Should I, I'll just call him back and be like, hey, we got tired of hey, holding. Hey, don't put us on hold. We need to ask you about our gerbil. <laughs> What's the most expensive haircut you have? Yeah, like what does it look like? Why is it so expensive? What will it look like? Do you charge if your head is fatter? Is I look like... No, you're good. Sorry, hi. We got tired of holding. Hey. Yeah, we do. we were. I'm, ve I'm very stuff. sorry. That's I'm all right. Hey, I get it. It's okay. We just didn't want to listen to the. Yeah, the music jazz anymore. music was kind of so loud. It's, real it's all loud. right though. It's all right. It's, okay. it's not your fault. Well, what can I help not you? Not your with? fault. What is that jazz music on the whole? I, you know, I have no idea. Is it come with You've the phone system? You've probably never heard it because why would you call your own Because I'm store? never on hold. Exactly. Yeah, they wouldn't put you on hold. Exactly. Well, why yeah. why would you call your own store if you think about okay, it? If you could crazy. call and say, hey, I'm running late. I got hit by, or whatever. I got a flat tire. The train got stuck or right. something. Do you? How do you get to work? Do you take the train? Uh, I do both. It depends. Really? Drive or train? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I drive. Sometimes I take the train. Well, parking over there is no picnic, right? That's not that bad. There's a parking garage down the street. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not terrible then. Uh, no, it's not bad. What's the haircut? Like, what's a haircut going to run my, me and my uh, partner here? The haircuts are $80. Okay. Oh, now, bad. do you do anything more? Like, if you do you do anything like more expensive? Like, is there a top tier that we could get? No, it's just $80. That's For anything. It. Everybody charges 80 for a buzz cut or a complicated um, haircut? Men, women, haircuts are $80. Kids? Wow. Uh, kids are 50, I believe, if 50. they're under 10. All right. What if the kid is like, um, what if I came in with my kid, but he's like already he's like kind of big, an adult? Big, long hair. What if they got big, crazy hair? It doesn't matter. And what's your uh, policy on frogs? Excuse me? What's your like frog policy? Like if I brought my son in and he has like he has like this shoebox full of frogs, so is there are we allowed to let them I would have hop to, around I would the have place? To ask or? the owner, to be honest with you. I mean, if they hop around, they... I, would, I, no, I don't think the frog can hop around the place, but I'm gonna okay. have to put you on hold again. That's fine. Okay. Do, what about the hair? How much do you do you ever sell the hair like sacks of hair? No, we do not. Okay, would would you be interested in entertaining that like a? Just like a brown no. paper bag full of hair, the sweepings from no, the floor. No, definitely You not. know what I've heard? There's a new thing where, you know, like goose down, like pillows or whatever. Now you can get I'm, hair I'm, down. I'm very sorry, but I have to check out a client. I can put you on hold for a second. Okay. Sure, yeah, put no us hold. On, on, <clears throat> can you put us on with the client while you Or don't put out? it on hold. You could just put the receiver off to the side so we yeah. don't have to listen I'm gonna to put, I'm going to put you on hold for a second. Okay. okay, just put the receiver off to the side. You don't have to put the hold. Yeah, just set it on the counter. Thank you for calling. I can't studio. listen to this anymore. Where is this? It's in Philadelphia. Okay. I think I'm going to switch up to uh, calling East Coast places. For support. Do you think this uh, lady's ever coming back? I thought it was a guy. That was a guy? Mm -hmm. The first one, I think, was a guy. It's the same one. It's the oh. same person, I think. Should we ask them if they're a girl or a guy? Yeah, how they identify. That's how you're no, supposed no, to say no. it. No, no, no. I think that's all. That's just already too loaded. That's Are the, you a boy or a girl? <clears throat> it's a horror show that we're living in. Are you a ma'am or a bo or a mister? Sir? I don't want to get, I don't want to open that can of worms. There should be sort of a, you know what? There really should be a, a, a gender neutral way to like, like this. Like, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We could just say like. Call him homie. Person. You know what I mean? Instead of saying person, it could be like. Hmm, what could it be? Like some sort of mush between Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Sis or something like that, you know what I mean? No. That way they won't get offended. They will. They'll still find a way. It looks like I have lipstick on, but it's Thank just... Thank you for holding. Hey, um, so do you do um, any kind of like makeover style stuff? I, I'm not sure what you mean. We like primarily if... just do haircuts, color... And How much do you charge for highlights, it. like balayage, like blonde? Uh, balayage starts at 200 <sighs> Can I tell you something? I have a friend who charges haircut and highlights $500. I'm not even lying. That's a friend of mine. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I, Excuse I, me. I believe you. But that's kind of cr Don't you think that's a little... It's like... How much is how much is the product that they're using? Oh, that's I a mean, good honestly, I like ten dollars, really fifty cents. I think people, if somebody thinks that they deserve five hundred dollars, then maybe they do. 
Yeah. You know what? That's yeah. a great attitude to have. Do you have any famous clients? I'm not that I know of. I'll Does M. Night Shyam- where Do you know where M. Night Shyamalan gets his hair cut? That's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, his hair always looks. His hair always looks kind of jacked. That's why it would be cool if we could get him in there. I yeah, I have no idea where he gets his haircut. He's weird. He's and if you do, if I do like two, what if I get like two different haircuts on my head? Like if one half is like one style and the other half is the other style, do I have to pay for two haircuts or would that count as one? I think you would need to talk to your stylist about that. Okay, is there a stylist available? I mean, you're more than welcome to come in for a consultation. We don't do consultations over the phone. Okay. Right. They have to see your head. They have to see my hair. His hair is jacked up, and he's got a weird head as well. Yeah. The shape of his head is odd. I, like I, I have said, a big you guys head. are more than welcome to. You're more than welcome. Sort to of pointy the at the top, like an egg. And a bat flew into my hair one time and got tangled in there, and we cut it out. Hmm. They said that the one guy said to rub peanut butter on it, but that just like didn't work then, then it just, just couldn't fly yeah. his wings got all sticky I, I don't know what the protocol is do you have do you ever, anything have you ever for had, gum yeah have you ever had gum stuck in your hair uh no i haven't if, what really? if somebody comes in for a haircut and they have like all kinds of leaves in their hair and stuff will you still cut their hair they're not homeless i i, I mean honestly we've never had somebody come in like that what so if i'm I really wh- wouldn't wh- what if I'm not homeless, but I'm like, I, but everything look about me stink looks like and homeless. smells homeless. But then, like, but then, like, he comes out of like a Ferrari or something, and you're yeah. just like, what? Why I, is I dirty I ass? Generally, just and try you, not to judge people. Then you give That's me a whole beautiful. an entire makeover. You yeah, know, and like, then you like yeah. wax him and wax. Like, and like you have to file we down don't, his we, toenails. We don't do that. We don't do. Give me a whole new wardrobe. I, like I said, we only cut hair. Okay, but if there, what if the, what if a wardrobe person came in? Then we could do the transformation. Like you could rent the whole. You're so rich, even though you look like a bum because you have a Ferrari. Yeah. You can rent the whole studio <sighs> out, um, and then bring people in to do your makeover. Would and you then, guys be interested um, in that? Can I? Can I could actually film just get it. your name and number, and I could have the owner get back to you? But then, can we do a thing with like where we have a camera, and so I'm sitting in the chair, like the barber chair or salon chair, whatever you call it. And I look like the homeless guy, and then you spin me around, and then we edit it to when I spin around back around, I look, then I have the makeover. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or it's like you, so it's like you're sitting in the salon chair, and there's like a picture of you, like when you looked homeless and weird, whatever, and it's like cut down the middle, and then they pull it apart, and then you like look all handsome or whatever. Or the spin thing. Where it's like time, where like it's you a You know what would be trick. cool, too, is if you got like lip filler, Botox... We you don't. Know, there's we a don't thing called liquid rhinoplasty. It's like a nose job, but do you do that? We, we we don't do anything like that. <laughs> do oh. you have any filler? Have you ever had any filler? No, I have not. Botox. I'm, I'm gonna get Botox nope. in my forehead. I've, by the way, I've never had anything done. You never? What about wax? Nope. Waxing? Nope. I'm gonna have to put you guys on hold. Have okay. you ever waxed? I mean, that's that's an accomplishment. Waxing hurts. <laughs> Thank what you for calling. Air studio. All I have to do is hang hang up. So you think that's a guy? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced either way. Aaron, what do you think? That's a lady. For yeah, sure. I think it's a lady. It sounds like an but old lady. But it could lady. be a guy. An old smoker lady. Oh, that's Philly. That's true. Everybody there's rough around the edges. Yeah. Scary. Do we wait for her to come back? I'm angry. It's going to be the cops on the phone. <laughs> It's the cops. All things comedy. Your destination for comedy, podcasts, and and uh, movies. Thank you for calling. Allthingscomedy.com. A salon coordinator will assist you momentarily. I don't think she's coming back we or he. To serving you and appreciate your patience and your support. Yeah. I wonder if there's someone. You know what? I bet if anyone comes back, it's going to be a different person. Like, uh, hello? Yeah, hello? How can I help you? Oh, this is the other uh, person who's just Who's going to come on and come on and it's going to be kind of like, like when we called a grocery store or something. What do we call a cheese store? Oh, yeah. Like that, where they come on and they're like all like ready to be fucking. I'm going to freestyle a song. Right. Thank you for calling Hair Studio. A salon coordinator will assist you momentarily. We look forward to serving right, you and up. appreciate your patience and your support. 
Oh yeah. Here I come, I'm walking down the street. I'm looking down at my meat, that's my wang. I'm pulling it out of my thang. My wiener out of my pants. Then I do my tiny li- Hello. Hello, can I help you? Is this the same person we were just talking to? No, it isn't. Can I help you? Oh, are you a salon um, coordinator? Or no, the uh, uh, owner. Oh, or uh, what do you call it? The uh, somebody who would cut my hair. I'm the salon owner. What can I do for you? Well, we were wondering. We had a few questions. Um, one, my son. We were going to come in with uh, with our son, who has um, he has like a shoebox full of frogs. And we were just wondering if there was like, if it's okay if he brought that in with him. No, no, that, you can't, you can't put frogs in. If he keeps them in the box. There's a, there's a lid. There's, there's a, a lid with but holes. But there's holes in it so that the box, the frogs can breathe. And then also, what would you no, charge? No, sorry, you can't, you can't bring a frog in the salon. Okay. What, what if they're in a backpack? In a box in the backpack? Are you serious or is this? Yes, a joke? we're serious. Uh, it's our son. He has three Why are you, pet frogs. Where, are you in Philadelphia? Yes. What's your address? Uh, well, I could tell you the neighborhood I live in. You can tell me what? The neighborhood I live in? I don't want to give you my exact no, address. No, tell me your address. Our house address? We're not... What, who Why are you? you? Who are address? we talking to right now? Is this the cops? I just told you... Uh, well, I can tell you. Okay, I'll tell you our address. And also, um, the, and this is a business question, how much do you ch would you charge for a sack of hair? Like um, just a brown paper bag, shopping bag full of hair. How much for, would I charge for a bag of yeah, hair? Yeah, for us, for us to, take to buy? Home. Yeah. For us to buy. We're interested in taking home a sack of hair. <clears throat> you Are you just going to use it to put just, around the garden to, to, to um, whirl off? Well, no, don't worry about what we're going to do with it. Just uh, You just throw it away, though, right? I'm just offering... I guess if they don't want to... We could just go through the trash and get it out of their trash if they don't want to sell it to us. Yeah, I guess that's your that, choice. Do you want us to go through the trash and get it for free, or do you want, like, 50 bucks a sack? What's your address? All right. You ready for this? It's I'm ready. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do and now? Up, Take us out to dinner? Number, please. You wanna send an Uber to come pick us up or a limo? Dude. Oh snap. Stretch Hummer. Stretch limo, come pick us up. Our son and us will come over. We'll bring the we'll frogs. We'll bring the frogs. We'll get some hair. We're down at Penn's Landing right now. So we could... Um, We're going to go look at the Liberty Bell. Later. If you want to come, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, Did you hear that boat, sir? What are you doing? You're being awfully quiet. I don't, I don't trust you. What are you doing right now? Sir, it's my right as an American to know what you're doing while we're on the phone, sir. Please. That's all right. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Now, that was a guy. That was for sure a guy, but the other one, I think, could have been a boy or a girl. Well, we'll never you know. You never know. Yeah. That but guy is, The frogs is a no. What if it's mob owned? What if he's a mafia guy? That's why he wanted our home address. Yeah. Somebody at that address is going to get murdered. What if we see on the news that someone on that address that I gave... Would you feel bad? Uh, no. It's not my problem. They shouldn't live there. Is that an address? Do you know what? I just there? made it up. Let's see. Matt, bleep it out. Hopefully it's a business or it's one of those scary places in the scary part of town. Uh, let's see. It's, um... Mm, looks like a house. In a nice oh, part well, of town? No, I mean, no. Well, then he's not going to go there. Oh, wait a minute. This is, I recognize this area. Let me see. No. I want to see. Right, we have someone on the phone and they don't have all day, okay? Uh, why? What are they doing? Well, let's, uh, hold on. Let's, um, <clears throat> let me cue up a song to intro our guest. Was that just a neck scratch that I heard? 
No, I ripped my face. Ew. What? It's disgusting. Yeah. I'm going to get a nice new car, and then guess what? All the guys, all the dads at the school are going to be like, hey. No, they're not. Yeah, they're all going to be like, oh. Okay. Uh, so we have, uh, we, have a, oh. we have a guest on the phone. Here is Jared Fogle. You may oh, have seen God. him on the news or a talk show. Oh, that's show. not a good one. He was inspired. Hold on, that's not a good one. For years, I ate fried food and burgers. No, no, and that's not good either. Where's Where's my favorite one? He's Pop looking good. Oh, uh, here we go. He's looking good. Remember Jared from Subway? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest on the phone. Um, he's calling from, good. is it Indiana? Which the I believe Jared. he's in Colorado. You in Colorado, Jared? Hello. Yeah, hi. Yeah. We have uh Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. What an inspiration. Subway. Eat fresh. You there? So that's uh that's Jared. Hey guys, it's it's Jared, your number one podcast guest. <laughs> that is true. We Most have requested. We do have a lot of fans uh, who listen to the podcast. Oh, that's some... my that's my side. We don't no, like no, no. Jared. So how's it been going, Jar? You know, it's been going pretty well. Um, we're doing a new line of sandwiches for August uh, because I'm in prison and I'm also in the process of transitioning. We oh. have the new trans witch <laughs> okay. at Subway. Oh. Nice. That's very socially. Uh... Wow. Yeah, that's good. I guess. It's like huh. you're transitioning. That's right. Mm. From from what? In, from an asshole into a normal guy. <laughs> oh, I forgot you're a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget that you're a pedophile. <laughs> um, actually, that's slander. I'm not a pedophile. That okay. was made up. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty when you think he about it. He was proven guilty. That's right. <laughs> I he wasn't was proven, proven guilty. guilty. He wasn't proven anything. In the court a mountain of, of evidence. Society. Exactly. Just in fake, in fake court. In the court of my heart. I was heart. railroaded. At, I mean, I don't know why I have to repeat myself. I was railroaded by Papa John's. Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike. Jimmy John. And Quiznos and Blimpies. They knew I was top of the food chain and they decided to bring me down okay so what are your plans so you got a i believe it was like a 16 year sentence and what are we like yes probably probably at least like six seven years into it by now right and you know what this actually was prison's been good because i've discovered that i'm actually i want to be a woman my my Boyfriend and I have decided that transitioning is just the right choice for me. So I've started using uh, hormone blockers and and other things. And are these prison-made hormone blockers that you make in yourself? Yeah, we have to we have to make them in our own. Yeah. What are they made? So you know, we, what just, are, what we are, just like gather things around know, the, the yeah. prison yard and the kitchen. And, and stuff. they mix it, and you mix it with piss, right? Yeah, piss is a is a major component in transitioning. You have yeah. to drink lots and lots of. Uh, actually, you have to drink lots and lots of uh, women piss. So yeah. we smuggle, you know, we have to smuggle women piss. People like fill yeah. women. They put women piss in little balloons and they stick it up their ass and they they yeah. come to the prison <laughs> with women piss balloons up their ass and they <laughs> they shit them out. Yeah, what do and you then like? I think they I think and Racist. correct me if I'm wrong. But I think if you smash up a bunch of ladybugs in women piss, You're not racist. You are kind of racist. We Jared's white, I by the way. I the podcast regularly, and it's We've kind of disgusting. It, yeah. You need to check yourself. You were canceling Okay, you're Uber white. Rides. How am I being racist against you? You're fucking white. Because and you're, you're, you're in racist prison. against people that are transitioning. It's clear. I can hear it in your chuckle. That's true. Are they going to let you out early since you're going to be a woman? Or are you going to go to a prison, the ladies' prison? Oh, yeah. No, we've we my my uh, cellmate and I have decided that you know it's cool that I can stay here because um, even when you get boobs and everything, is that yeah? Be so safe? you know, next week we're we're going to do like a a uh, prison surgery, 
where you know a couple of the guys in the prison they get a couple of shanks and they they uh kind of chop up chop my like they sort of push my penis back into my body right. using shanks. like uh they make a see that's my that's my cellmate whispers okay. um so me and whispers are going to like use this special shank that you can it's specifically made so we can, you, you just like put it on the end of your penis and you just shove it back up mm, into your body. Right. And then do you make labias out of like uh, subway bologna or whatever? Yeah. And then, so whatever, whatever, uh, whatever shreds of penis are left, I just ship them over to subway and they put them in the new trans, which <laughs> oh, okay. available Wait, at subway. So, so the remains of your, well, they probably mutilated pride penis month, is going to be in a sandwich. Pride Month was Pride in June. Pride Month, stupid. Pride yeah. Month was in June, was in idiot. June. You sound like a turf. You sound like a turf. Well, you sound, I feel like maybe prison is making you I'm more worried about you. I don't know if this prison surgery is a good idea. That doesn't sound safe. Well, wait, so, but you have to inject lady piss with smushed up ladybugs in it, right? For, right. there's so a lot of ladybugs estrogen. and uh, meal, mealworms. Yeah, and, and butterflies, uh, dandelions, prison, like prison chickers too. Prison smelly chickers. candles. <laughs> What's that? Prison, prison what? Little little bugs, little prison, prison chickers. chickers that fly into the between the bars. You know, like piss flies. I've had chiggers before. It's no picnic. I know you've to, you've told me about it. Well, it's going to be a picnic when you go to Subway and you order the trans switch. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think Nobody's I'll ever order, order that, that if there's human. <laughs> You know, flesh it's in it. It's Pride Month. You have to order it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to? If you go into a subway, you have to order it? It's Pride Month, right. fuckhead. Let's call a sandwich <laughs> shop and see if they want to talk to Jared. You <laughs> are the most famous. Oh, God. Uh, I forgot. Hey, I was burping yeah, earlier. So too. Yeah, it's not as yeah, bad, I guess, when you do it. When Jared does it, it's... All right, I need to get another soda so I can burp more. <laughs> I'll burp with you, Jared. And I'm going to leave. Pride Solidarity. I hope you're not doing this as a publicity stunt, Jared. No, but I, that's, no way. No. I'm getting hey, a uh, lot of big, the... big, big money from Subway. All right, Jared. They like to make it sound like Jared, I don't work shut up. anymore. But shut up. They sort of, they Jared, sort of shadow. Jared, we're on the phone. Be quiet. I'm sort of their shadow. <laughs> we have. Uh, I'm their how's it going? Spokesperson. We're gonna order. We have uh, Jared from Subway on the line. You hear me, sir? It's not a sign. Um, yes, oh, can sorry. I help you? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I My uh, associate was talking over me. So we have Jared from Subway on the line. Uh, we called him in prison. And we're just calling some uh, sandwich shops because he's going to be getting out soon. And we're just wondering if you wanted to come down and do like a live burping thing or, um, you know, he could do uh, create some sandwiches for you. Oh, uh, um, you, you'll have to call back tomorrow to talk to our manager. Hold on, Jared, did you want to do a burp for this lady? Uh, you got the pride menu? I'm sorry, you said do a what? Well, Jared... I said, do you... Okay, go ahead. You got the pride menu for Pride Month, for Subway Pride Month sandwiches. It's not Subway, though. Yeah. Do you guys have any that's, type of pride I don't know. I don't think that, menu? that matters anymore. You need a pride menu, I guess. Did you have a yeah, pride menu? Yeah, because it's the law. You have to have a pride menu. But well, y'all have to talk to my manager. Not. I can't answer them questions, so y'all can call him tomorrow between the hours of 9 and 5. No, you're you're legally obligated to answer any questions that any because uh, Jared is calling from a federal the law facility. During Pride Month. All right. You know, I thought that was a foreign person, but then at the end there, I don't think they were no, foreign, they're not at, foreign all. at all. Right, because you're a racist and your racist yeah. radar is like, are they foreign? <laughs> Come on. I'm saying the way they spoke made me think they she were foreign. Right, the way they learner. spoke, which is different from you. She yeah, it is different from me. She thinks And you know what? Is what else is different from me? You are, because you're a fucking pedophile. And you're in jail. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. I'm making a documentary right now that's going to change your mind about. The I don't pedophile think that's thing. possible. You know who's the real pedophile? Jersey Mike. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see who's who. Jersey Mike fucks kids. Why don't you just you focus, heard it here first? Focus on oh, your transition. You heard it here first. All right, Jersey we at the uh, world that's record podcast. Okay, shut of, up. They're part of the evil, evil children we trafficking cabal. This is Hollywood Jared's cabal. statement. Jared's saying that the World Record Podcast doesn't stand behind these statements. We don't know anything about that. So yeah, they, you, these, you guys, you 
on off the air, you told me you stood right behind me. All right, hundred percent. You now said hundred percent. You said you said come on the air. I stand Can behind you. Hundred percent. That's what you said. <laughs> All right, so shut up. It's your idea say. to put it's, him on. It's well, always he calls, like this. he bugs me. It's always like this. And uh, I, he does usually, I feel like we usually have like a pretty good informative podcast. We get a glimpse of what it's like to be inside the prison system. We get a glimpse of what it's like to be the world's most famous spokesperson, even though he has had a slight fall from grace. I've got a call. I, look, am I perfect? No, mm-hmm. but I'm close to it. I don't. I don't think when so. When my documentary comes out, you'll see the truth. So, what's your documentary going to be called? Uh, it's called Subway to the Truth. Okay. All right. Here, I'm going to call another sandwich place and see if they'll hire you when you get out of jail, which could be soon with good behavior, right? Yeah, it's pretty soon, and also with transitioning too, because it's illegal to keep a trans person in prison for longer than a weekend. Oh, that's true. That's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I guess you'd be like kind of a whole different person. So they'd have to retry they, they you. They like would. You, just, you change your. Well, I guess if you molested the kids with your penis and that penis is gone, then it's like, well, what are we? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. What are we doing here? Right. Like, yeah, what I'm, are, like a brand, I'm a brand new person. Yeah. So who who are you arresting? Not me. <laughs> How did Aaron know? What are you going to change? Harrison? What are you going to change your name to? I don't think. You uh, change it to oh anything. yeah, it's going to be uh, Jaredella. Mm, oh right, yeah, age. you got it. But I think for oh yeah, that's stupid. What's think the female version one? of Jared? Jarena. Jarena. I don't know. That's terrible. Jarena Fogella. That's even worse. Jared is arguably the ugliest name ever. Jarena Fogella. Yeah, Jarena Fogella. That's a pretty name. And then no one's gonna, everyone's gonna think you're Italian first of all, and then. Well, that's perfect for the hoagie business. Yeah. Princess Jarella Fogella. That sounds good. <laughs> Princess. Princess Jarella Fogella. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, um, I like that. That's not strange. Wait, where did the princess come from, though? I'm confused. He can change his name to whatever well, he wants. Could, I was... See, oh, okay, honey, we're going to have lunch soon. That's my cellmate, Whispers. Okay. Um, What's Whispers in for? Whispers in is in for a uh, triple homicide. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Cut the tag off of one of those mattresses, too. Yeah, and he, he also, like, did a smash and grab at a... At a Sephora. At a Gucci. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's crazy. They don't, do they ever catch any of those guys? It looks like the same guys. They all dress the same. Yeah, I, th- I think it's the same gang. I yeah. guess, what do they do though after they collect all the stuff? They sell it on so eBay or something? I don't know. It, it seems seem like you have like to unload it. They, they just walk around with it. Yeah, they just go they down there. It, it depends on what it is. If it's makeup, they wear it. Yeah. yeah. If it's shoes, they wear it. <laughs> but just, I just mean, where are they, they just go down, the, go down the go down the Inglewood, and everybody's all made up and carrying Gucci bags. <laughs> everybody's yeah. makeup looks perfect. That's bad. You can't say stuff like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. Go to some other neighborhood then. I don't know. I mean, I see <laughs> the videos. <laughs> well, actually, if you do a little how do you detective work, the you sort of see like, oh, all these rich. White girls are walking around with Gucci bags. Yeah. Where they get them It could be them, them I guess. I could be them. Where they right. get them from? They could Maybe be... they did it. Yeah. So you were sentenced to 15 no, I years. Can't, you know, they're all hooded up and masked up. I can't see them. Damn, Jared, you're like halfway through your. Uh, you were sentenced in 2015. To right. f- oh, you have to serve a minimum of 13 Wrong, I mean, years. Not sentenced. Wrongfully accused. Is right. The proper term. Wrongfully incarcerated. Right. Uh, and, you know, when my documentary comes out, Subway to the Truth, and it's revealed that with DNA evidence that I didn't do, I didn't do anything. I literally, I just was Remember minding that, my own funny? business. Remember that making a murderer show and how there's, like, specialty lawyers that try to get, like, convictions overturned for innocent yeah. We should, right. we should reach out to one of those. those. That's what I was going to say. We should reach out to one I of those. I got a couple if, specialty lawyers. Yeah, see if they'd take on Jared's case. We have, guess what? But, You're in a federal correctional institution. It, it's called Inglewood, but mm, it's in Colorado, right. near Littleton, Colorado. Interesting. How did, how did Aaron know? I guess Aaron's a big Jared fan. He doesn't hide. I think I've looked it up yeah, before. He's, he, I think I, the he's been stalking me online, I've noticed. Like whenever I go on my facebook page i see that he's like liking all my posts yeah and stuff. <laughs> that's right i've seen um there's like a thing and a- aaron has like this poster of you like the subway poster and on the back there's like tally marks i think he's just counting down the days until you're released yeah i actually yeah. have a pair of signed that's... um signed before jeans 
You do? Yeah, yeah, the huge ones. <laughs> Brendan, Brendan had a pair of those in the back of his. I still have trunk. a pair of those. And uh, one time we were at this. I went they to the but, store with my but brother. But your jeans fit. Yeah, those jeans are too small for yeah. him now. Uh -huh. Anyway, I told my brother that Brendan used to be big and fat, and he was like, "Really?" He totally believed it. He used to be. Like, I mean, yeah, I like know. The pants are pounds. big. Yeah. yeah, the pants are this big. Look, literally, they're this. They're giant. They're like a 50-something. I mean, that's why you kept them in your car, so people thought you were big and fat or well, something. Well, I used to take them on stage. I would have people oh, yes. introduce me as recently losing like 200 pounds. That sounded like you threw up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Have you, what have you been eating in prison lately? Any new prison sandwiches? Well, I eat all sorts, I eat all sorts of uh, great Subway Pride Month sandwiches. Okay, so well, all you've like, said... Like, new, like the new Fist Chicken. Fist chicken? Fist chicken. It's it's fist flavored chicken. Okay. For Pride Month. Well but it's, it's not August. Pride Month. I'm and yeah, it's not I don't understand like what these what would fist what do you mean chicken it's not have Pride to do month? with Pride Month? Pride Month is like all summer long. Well then it would be called Pride Summer. It's called it's Pride called, Month because it's, it's only it's one only month. one month yeah. long and it's already did you like All summer is called Pride Month now. So you're just you're all about pride or something now? Yeah, what's that's right. Ever since ever since I've tr I'm transitioning, well, I've, I'm all about uh, pride and I don't and think inclusion. See, I think you're just trying to deflect what you're guilty of. And yeah. I'm also very very much anti hate. I fucking hate hate. Well, that's we can <laughs> all it. agree on that. I guess. Are hate, you hoping that? I fucking that... hate hate. I fucking hate it. Are you Don't even talk to me about hate. <laughs> okay. I hate it. Are you hoping that when you're released from prison and, and you're getting, going, you're a soon to be trans woman, that you'll get your spokesperson title back because now you're trans and you're like reformed or whatever? You mean when I change my name to Jarella Fagella? Yeah. Are you going to try to go back Jirella to Fagella. Subway? Yeah. Fogella. <laughs> Princess Jarella Fagella. Fogella. When I return to society and, and also prove my innocence. Take down Blimpies, Jersey Mike's, Papa John's, yeah, yeah. Trader Joe's. We've heard it. Trader all Joe's. That conspired to take me down. Okay, now hold on. I'm going to call and a sandwich we'll place and try and secure you um, employment for when you get out in five years. Mm -hmm. We should go to, uh, that, that should be a special podcast. Hey, how's it going? Um, we have, do you guys have, do uh, uh, you have any active like spokesmen or anything? Of what? Like an active spokesperson <laughs> for your sandwich place? Like a mascot? Uh, yeah. Why? We have, well, we have on the phone, we have on the line, we have Jared from Subway on Yo, the line what's up? from jail. What's okay, up? and? Well, he's getting out in, in a few years, and um, he's <clears throat> actually transitioning, so he's going to be going by Princess Jarella Jure, Jure, Fagella. Jarella Fogella. And he, she was wondering if she could be your new uh, spokesperson. They. they. Sorry. Uh, hold on. Let me get. Let me get the person. Hold on. Okay. Let's gotta get the this person. Sounds good. I think we're all like halfway, halfway there. Yeah. So that way we could make. You're a big... like you're like I have Jared on from prison. He's like, okay, and <laughs> it's like, wouldn't you be kind of. What the hell? I'd be blown away by that. I would I would be like creeped out, but he didn't even seem phased. I would be like, this is my lucky day. Talking to this big big celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> you're a disgraced celebrity. You're not like big. I don't think I don't I know if he's that disgraced really. <laughs> not really. He's it's, becoming it's I mean I'm still big. I'm still yeah. talk I'm still getting called by multiple podcasts to come on and Chit chat. But this is the only one you breeze. agree to, right? Oh, hold on one second. Hold on. Okay. 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 Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, this is a beam, and I have uh, Jared from Subway on the line from uh, hey. Colorado Correctional Institution. That's Jared. Jared, say hi. Inglewood. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? And Jared's going to well, Jared's going to be getting out of prison soon, and he's going to need some employment, and he's transitioning. We thought maybe. If you would want to hire Princess Jarella uh, uh, Fogella. No, nah, of course, we're not hiring at the time. We're slow as hell. Well, but, but you it's, know for, it's for a spokesperson. Yeah, it's Jared from Subway. Yeah. But yeah, uh, he's transitioning. That's something so you have to talk she, to the owners for. We can't help you. Well, when she's out in and a few years. Especially if he's been in prison. Who wants to hire somebody as a spokesperson who's been in I'm prison? I'm transsexual. You it's, can't deny me a job. 
And he's also Sorry. the most uh, goodbye, famous. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Wait, 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 no, 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 come no, on. No, <laughs> but they were the most famous. I like that guy. Why would I want to hire somebody who's in prison? <laughs> well, because people, did you ever hear of a thing called a second chance? <laughs> You know, yeah. have you ever heard of a thing called name recognition? You don't think you're that's the thing. It's your like, store is going to be popular with Jared. It's going to be all over the news globally. I mean, we'll call local you. local sandwich shop hires former subway spokesperson Jared Fogel, now known as Princess Jarella Fogella. Think of the think of the headlines. <laughs> of the, hey, I'm on your side. I don't know why that guy was so, you know, against it. Guy sounds for like once. Maybe Jesus because you're Christ. a pedophile. But this, write this fucking oh, that's what it could be. It could be calendar. the pedophilia. It's probably because you were uh, convicted of pedophilia and child pornography charges. Right. I bet that that's probably really has something to do. the taste of the sandwich. Fuck him. All right. <laughs> I mean, you do have a point. Doesn't affect the sandwich. And also, like, I'm not going to get out for like another what? Fucking five years. Seven years. You can't like look to the future and be like. Like, he's like, oh, we, we don't have any positions open right now, of course. But, like, in seven years, five years, you might I have think. something open. Like, just, like, put my name on a waiting list or something, you know? Yes, just so Can't you have some that. job security when you're released. I yeah, just so, like, I, you know, I know that, like, okay, I'm out. Let's see. I have, I can go over here and see if there's something going on, you know? Well, you're going to have a lifetime of supervised what happened, release. What happened to the American dream? Yeah, I don't know if you, actually, you'll legally be allowed to work. You know, he's let still alone has, in a sa sandwich store. You're still kind of rich too, because your settlement. You only had to give a 1.4 million dollar restitution. I think you were worth like 16 million bucks or something. Well, yeah, don't my, you think his ex-wife took it all? Yeah, my wife has away a lot yeah. of the. Uh, she probably. I mean, she probably took half at money. least. Rightfully so. Uh, two. And most of the money that that I made was from going to schools and talking about health and meeting kids and telling them like how to take care of their bodies and showing them how to you know how to stay healthy and well and active, i don't think you're you know? gonna be able to go near a school ever Ooh. again yeah, august but I'm 19th saying, like then that's how i would make like all my money i would go to a school i would meet the kids i would tell them like here sh let me show you how to stay healthy and you know that's how they learned, and they would. And once I showed them how to stay healthy, they would give me like uh, like twenty bucks and stuff. So that's, that's how. Oh, what I, do you mean? How do like, they stay healthy? What money. do you mean? What, you like what would you take their shirts off or whatever? Like kid, like the kids would pay me to show, like individually, like to pay me to show them like how to stay healthy. I uh, like how to choke your chicken or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say that. August nineteenth. So we just said August nineteenth will mark the eight years that you've been in prison. You've been in prison since August nineteenth, twenty fifteen. That's, that's right. when you did a plea deal. And oh, because of my specialty is. attorneys, I'm going to be getting out very soon. Fifteen years and eight months in prison. I mean, you've been in prison for about eight years. So then we're if if it's thirteen, thirteen years is the minimum. Uh, 15 years, eight months, I guess is a uh, maximum. You know, that group called the innocence project. They're, yeah. they're working on my case right now. That's what I mean. We should. Oh, well, okay. if they're already working on there, then that's fine. Cause I'm, cause I'm innocent. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could call a lawyer if you want. You know, we need to get on the case is Jim Caviezel. He gets things done. Who's that? The actor who he's, played Jesus. He's Jesus Christ. Stupid. I don't know. I don't understand why. Why would he? Because he's Jesus. Have you not heard about oh, the, the is he movie the new, Sound of That's Freedom? what it is. That's yeah. what it is. Okay. You do, Have you seen that movie, Jared? Do you... About the child, child trafficking? We don't, we don't get to watch movies here. We can only watch, like, TikTok vids and stuff. Really? <laughs> How do you go yeah. on Facebook? Do you have access to a computer? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the library. You get... You can sign up for... Yeah, it's computers. like a library with bars. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. That's prison pretty is, much what prison mean? is. It's like a library with bars. And raping, a lot of and like, Yeah, rape. a lot of violence and rape. It's like, imagine you were at the library, but you couldn't leave. That's so that's what prison's like. <laughs> and there were like big... Uh, big Instead of just like weird bums, there's like big, scary, violent bums. Yeah. That are with, your cellmates. Who are going to have rape sex you. with you. Yeah, rape you in your butt. Yeah, imagine it's like a library, but a library where you get raped. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the people at the library are... Aryan Nation dudes. Are there a lot of Aryan Nation guys in your cell? I don't see how that's different from a regular library, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's Most, where I go. I go to Nazi library. That's like the same. Uh, I, I'm going to Nazi Berry Farms uh, <laughs> next week for a class trip. <laughs> 
So can you stop? No one doing asked. That? Well, it's. I'm just moving it around. Stop moving it around. Sit still. I don't want to. She's all horned up, Jared. She's all excited. horned up talking. So wait, when you're to uh, Jared, when you're talk, fully transitioned, to Fe, Princess Jarella Fagella. So princess, when you're fully transitioned, are you going to be dating guys or girls or what? I like dating guys. I like dating girls. Okay. And you know, whoever doesn't like it can go fuck themselves. Okay. You know, I'm, I do what hey. I want. Hi, how's it going? Uh, this is uh, Beeman. Um, I come in there all the time. I actually have. Uh, I have Jared from Subway on the phone. We <clears throat> called him in prison. Hey, what's up? You hear that? Hello? Yeah. So Jared is in prison, Excited? but he's getting out in a little bit. And we, we're trying to find him a job as like another sandwich spokesperson. So we were wondering if you guys would want to maybe hire him. Well, hey, let's, them. let's talk turkey. <laughs> Get it? Sandwich turkey. He's transitioning, so he's going to be going by Princess Jarella Fogella. So. Hey, hold on. Ask, ask the owner. Okay, sure. Who? Hello. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? This yeah. is this is Beeman. I, I come in there all the time. I th you know I am. Um, okay. And I have Jared from Subway on the phone. Hey, what's up? Okay. Do you remember Jared? From Subway. <laughs> Did you hear him? I'm not talking to him. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm not talking to, to them. Yeah, we should try it. Pronoun. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. <laughs>